something kept telling me to look for a reason. And doctor, when I hit it in the light just right, the way this work is done, the light beam has to come in at a certain way. And when it does, it will be revealed to you like that. And when I hit that thing just right in the light, the most ancient, awesome images were revealed to my eyes. I was looking inside of it and I seen this, which sounds crazy, it's like a castle, I would say, or a cave, or a castle outside. The very first time I looked into it was with a bright light. And I was inside of this castle and I had this demon, this thing, chasing me. And I was trying to get away from it and I got turned around, coming around the block of it, you know, like coming through, going down some stairs. This thing was hiding behind the stairs, jumped out and chased me or something crazy. And as I come down the stairs, there's this thing that jumps out and chases me. I don't know how to explain it except it looked like it was part big body and part evil back face. And it chased me. And, and, the, and, and, and what really brought me to reality is when I come apart, when I was getting, trying to get back up to the, to the top of the circuit to get away from this thing that was scaring the fire out of me. God, God popped up and and uh, held his hand like this, and uh, it just fell apart. It just all crumbled. Whatever was chasing me just more or less just fell apart. And uh, God appeared. That was my starving. That was pretty amazing because I know that no human hand could have made them. I mean, it's just like watching CNN on TV. I stood there and watched the helicopter fly over my head. I mean, it's like I was inside of it. Rocket pistols going off all over. It looked like to me like I was getting out of it. Rocket pistols going off all over. It looked like to me like I was getting impression the whole world was attacking Israel. Blast two, two big, look like nuclear explosions going off there in the Middle East. And as I was looking into it, the ground burst like lava, okay? You had Hell's Angels on one side, and you had Satan's Angels on the other side, like the rapture had happened, brother. And they are fighting, Satan's Angels are fighting the same, the, 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 the demons are, are snatching souls up to fire from and these angels are catching. We see a Satan himself in a lake of fire sitting back there. He's got a gold coin in his mouth like that. He's laying back like that. He's like that. He's like that. He's like that. He's like that. back there. He's just laying back there trying to play, play hide, 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 you know. Back there. Now, I'm not kidding you. He's laying there like it's a bathtub of fire. Fire and brimstone, brother. I don't know any other way to tell you. Fire. Fire and brimstone, brother. I don't know any other way to tell you. Just move the light. Just move the light. It's like you're changing the channel. You see it all goes through. You see. Images of ancient times and images of modern times, too. I've been in different lands. I've been in somewhere where there's columns and pillars that are maybe six, eight, ten feet round that are just crumpled to the ground. And I'm just looking in there and I'm just standing there and I can just, just feel that I can reach out and touch. But I think it might take different people to different times.
side uh, profile of Jesus, and he has he has a dictionary, a white collector dictionary in there, and it has the picture of the same guy that's in it. So, and on the back, there's like a king's head, with like a, a hummingbird stuck in the sack of his head. I've seen that. I don't think Todd's crazy. I don't think that Todd is making anything up. I really think that anybody that gives the time deserved in looking at this thing is going to see that the longer you look at it, the more time that you give looking into this, the more things that you're going to see. And that's just there. I, I got to thinking about how I needed a perfect light to look down in the object with. So the light that I come with, come up with is a simple. With a magnifying glass, without it, I have seen things. I have seen images. I have seen what I believe to be the shape form of an angel, wings. I have seen uh, many faces. Uh, and on the outer edge of this, the top part, the flat part, you can make out faces. A lot of side profiles of, of men with hats, uh, with beards, um, very detailed in the eyes, in the face, and the mustaches and things. So, I mean, I've seen, I've seen my share, enough to where I believe. I was in the insurance company the other day, asked these girls, asked them, she said, what's your occupation? I said, archaeologist. Todd came to me uh, with an interest possibly going on our local television show here on cable to explain this uh, rather unique object that he found in a shop in Nashville. While he was here, we uh, took a look at their digital camera, looked into the uh, vessel, as I like to call it, we saw some strange things. When you first saw it, what did you think? There are definitely scenes carved into this thing, is what I saw. I, I think if you look real close, you can see uh, what appears to be some religious. They can almost be biblical or some kind of, uh, they look like something from antiquity. You can actually start to see them, them faces side profiles of different of the pharaohs or the silver ruler from way back in the biblical. It's possible to do very minute carving and I really do think there are actual scenes. I mean I see what looks like people. But you got to understand Maga, all the other people that wouldn't let me come and then y'all did and then for y'all's eyes to be open to the things that was a miracle to me. Well, his sincerity it does impress you. I mean, he's convinced that there really is something to this, and and I can't say that he's not right. We were very skeptical, but after he came here and we took the pictures and we used the, the little uh, jeweler's tool and we could see inside, we really, when you left, we sat here and said, you know, he's got something there. I, I really think he does. What it is, I don't know. I think it's maybe some type of a religious urn of some type. It's something, something beyond what anybody on earth has done, I think. What I do, hon, is hold this thing like, put these two fingers on there. I hold the light over the holes with that. And if you'll direct the light, all the images, I believe, connect together to form one story. I believe it could actually be maybe the visual text of the Bible itself, is what I believe. Uh, you know, uh, it's all 3D right there. See yeah. that? This is something, yeah, this is something uh, jumping uh, out. Uh huh. It's, it's all like it's 3D, coming isn't it? At you. Yeah. Nothing more surprised me. But it's, a, sure. it, it, it's something. It's something that I believe the human race ain't seen in thousands. Years. It shows uh, in the Armageddon where God was uh, uh, angry with the Adam and Eve, and uh, uh, they are hiding uh, behind the bushes like they were scared looking up. I seen that, and I swear to God on it. But uh, I seen the devil in the pitchfork, and I seen people the bright horses. I seen this right guy like the dogs fighting. And I'm. Um, I saw Todd do something. Well, he and his brother, they got to turning around and twisting around. I was like, hey, I see a horse. Oh, there's an angel. Uh, there's a cross. There's all kinds of stuff there. Y'all in for a treat. I'm telling you, a real treat. And um, every time I see Todd, I say, Todd, you can do anything with that, with that thing that you have. <laughs> and he says, not yet, not yet. But I'm going to, I'm going to. So the world needs to open their eyes. The Urban Thummum 